FBI investigators are looking at indications Saeed Farouk may have been radicalized. Phone communications reveal the gunman had been in touch with FBI terrorism subjects over the last several years, though officials say they were not considered high priority subjects. He was not on the radar screen of our agency. Uh, prior, prior to yesterday. Law enforcement officials say Farouk's behavior at a company holiday party Wednesday raised concerns with at least one witness. We did have some initial information that he, he left under some kind of duress or as if he was angry. We also had somebody else say that, you know, he just kind of disappeared. We don't know where he went from there. He later returned to launch his attack. Patrick Bakari shared a cubicle with Farouk and worked with him for three years. He was drying his hands in the restroom when the shooting began. I thought somebody booby trapped the towel dispenser because I was being pummeled while I was pulling the towels out of the dispenser. And so I looked back in the mirror, I could see I was bleeding in my temple, my nose, and then there's other little fragments. They hit me all over the place. One reason investigators believe this might have been more than just a workplace dispute is the cache of explosives and ammunitions they found. Officials say it's clear there was planning before the attack. If you look at the amount of obvious pre-planning that went in, the amount of armaments that he had, the, the weapons and the, the ammunition, uh, there was obviously a mission here. We know that. Uh, we do not know why. Right now, investigators are scrutinizing Farouk's overseas travel. CNN has learned he traveled to Saudi Arabia in 2013. During that time, officials believe he met his Pakistani-born wife, Tashfeen Malik, who helped Farouk carry out the attack. Farouk was born in the U.S., and the dating profile he had set up says he's from a, quote, religious and modern family, and, quote, enjoys traveling and just hanging out in the backyard doing target practice with his younger sister and friends. Farouk's family says they are stunned. I have no idea why would he do that, why would he do something like this. I have absolutely no idea. I'm in shock myself.